Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Mum and Dad's 0400 series Land Cruiser. And more specifically, why it's lost all of its power. We're gonna crack open the EGR and the intake and give that a clean and see if that helps. So before I go and show you exactly why I think it's the EGR, I'm just going to pop the bonnet and we'll just go over what an EGR actually is. So an EGR or exhaust gas return is this pipe back here. And essentially what that does is it grabs the gases from the exhaust manifold and throws them straight back into the crossover pipe and then into the intake manifold. And basically all that's meant to do is reduce the carbon output of the car. It makes it greener. And uh, well, these came in on the 1HZ on two th in 2002. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the first one of these was seen around 2000. So I imagine that uh, the EGR has been on the 1HD block for most of its life. Now, the reason that this can lead to a power reduce is because not only is it throwing all the exhaust gases from the exhaust manifold back into the intake system, it's throwing all the soot and grit and grime with that from the engine. So uh, I am pretty confident that with what we're gonna see when we pull the crossover pipe off, the EGR off, the intake manifold off, I believe it's all gonna be filled with soot. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was sooted up all the way back here, you know, towards the turbo kind of thing, so, or the intercooler. So uh, yeah, that is why we're gonna take that off today. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about when I say power loss. Okay, I don't have to go far at all to prove my point, so I'm not gonna be doing any driving of high speed or anything like that, although the zero to 100 time is incredibly slow at the moment. So, in first gear, we can approach this hill and get the revs up, flop, and then we'll go second. Now, my foot is flat to the floor right now. This is where your normal engine would pick up rather quick. In fact, I might even go and compare it with mine, but foot is flat to the floor. And look at that, that is such a slow increase. And I believe the engine is choked because the other thing we're noticing at the moment is that the fuel consumption is through the roof. This thing's chewing up, you know, anywhere between 17 and 19 litres per hundred of diesel at the moment, which isn't what you want. These things are optimum around, you know, 13 or 14. So there's definitely something wrong there. I think it's having to burn a lot more fuel to get the power that we need. I want to give you a bit of contrast. So we're here in my Land Cruiser, which has only got a 1.8Z in it. Should be like, you know, heaps less power than that thing. So we're going to try the same hill. We'll go first gear and get it up to second. And then there you go, look at that. Look at that pick up compared to the other one. So that just goes to show that that Land Cruiser is in need of a lot of help right now. So Dad and I got busy at removing the EGR and intake system on this 1HD FTE block. Today I will be comparing the performance of the vehicle before and after this clean, but we'll still touch on the process I went through. However, if you are after a more detailed guide on an intake clean and EGR delete, we found Dan vs Cars 5 part mini series very helpful and I'd recommend it if you are new to things like removing inject lines, taking off the intake manifold and some slightly trickier processes around altering the crossover pipe to delete the EGR. Once you've got the crossover pipe off, you're going to want to split it into its three pieces and take all those sensors and vacuum hoses off so that you can go and give it a good clean. To be completely honest, Dad and I both expected there to be a lot more buildup than there was. There was between 5 and 10 mil of soot all through the intake system between the EGR valve and the intake manifold. We expected this to be a lot more and at this point we were a little bit worried that we were just going to be wasting our time. 
but thankfully this wasn't actually the case at all. So the next thing you're going to be doing is taking that fuel pump cover off to get to the bottom of those injector lines and from there you're pretty much taking the injector lines off and unbolting the manifold. Once again, we found Dan's video really helpful for which order you should be taking these lines off. And when you do that, make sure you lay them out in order you took them off so that it's easy to remember how to put them back on. And go ahead and take as many pictures or draw as many diagrams as you need, remembering that each line has a designated injector and a designated spot on the fuel pump. Be sure to save these compression washers, they're hard to replace, and there's one on every bolt holding on the intake manifold. So then it's the thrilling job of cleaning this all out. You'll need to get in there with some scrapers and as much degreaser as you possibly can. At this point we thought it would be a good idea to draw ourselves a nice little petrol bath and stick the intake manifold in there to clean it out properly. Once you've cleaned out the intake manifold and crossed over the pipe, it's time to go and put everything back together. After pumping the primer on the fuel pump for a bit, we turned it over and hoped for the best. The moment of truth showed that we'd obviously put everything back together half right for it to be running again, and then it was time to test it. So as you can see, 5 to 10 mil of that soot all through the intake really stifled that engine. 
it's performing so much better after we've cleaned that out. So there you have it guys. Obviously it's quite a filthy job, but it is well worth it. You know, we didn't even do a delete today. We just did a clean and the difference has been incredible. So I'd highly recommend doing that. Um, we saved ourselves, you know, eight or 10 hours labor um, that we would have had to pay for otherwise. So yeah, that is really worth it. Um, and it is just like it used to be. It's a new vehicle again. So well worth the trouble. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys. And if you have any questions or comments, see me in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.